Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from CyberPanel and in today's video we will be learning about how you can monitor your site's uptime. So in case you're not around and somehow your site is down, any tools that you're using to monitor your site's uptime, they're going to notify you via email, via text message that your site is down and come, you can go over there and fix it yourself. Okay, so uh, in today's video, we will be learning about two online tools and two plugins with which you can very easily uh, monitor your site's uptime. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. All right, so first of all, let us see some online tools with which we can monitor our site's uptime. So for today, we are using Pingdom and Uptime Robot. So both these online platforms are super easy to use. So let's check out Pingdom first. So when once you sign up on Pingdom, it's super easy to uh, sign up on Pingdom. It only requires some uh, basic information. And after that, this will be your dashboard. Once you're here, simply click on synthetics from the left side corner. Click on that and click on uptime. So once you're on this page, simply click on add check. Now name your check, so I'm going to name it. I want, so you can also have check type for email, for network, but we are going for web today. So for HTTPS, super easy. Next we need our site's URL. So simply copy your site's URL. Now this is a test site that I have created. Once you're done, simply click on create check. So once you create check, you will be able to see that the screen is displaying you some uh, stats now. So what you are going to get are you're going to get your stats after the interval that you have just um, mentioned in your check pop up. So I have it, I have it for one minute. So after one minute, it's going to check for uh, my site for uptime. So that's uh, ping down. Now, now let's check out. Uh, uptime robot so once again you simply sign up on uh, uptime robot it's super simple uh, super easy you only have to give some basic information once you do that this will be your dashboard from here click on add new monitor from the upper left corner okay so once you do that it, uh, you only have to enter your monitor type again we are going for http Click uh, next, add a name for it, add your URL. Now this one is monitoring for every five minutes. In Pingdom, we did it for one minute, but uh, in Uptime Robot, we'll, we'll do it for five minutes. Once you're happy with everything, select uh, the channel with which you want to be notified. So in case uh, your site is down, you'll be notified immediately. So let's click create the monitor. Okay, so monitor has been created. Click on go to monitor detail. Once you do that, you'll be able to see that here it is. So just simply click on your check. So right now there is no data over here since we just created um, this check, but uh, this monitor in uptime robot but after five minutes it's going to start receiving the data it's going to check up on your site on behalf of you so that's how you can use online tools to um, monitor your site's uptime now let's check uh, now let us check how you can monitor a site's uptime using wordpress plugins okay so for plugins we are going to go for jetpack and manage wp worker Simply go into your site's dashboard. From here, click on plugins, click on add new. From here, search for Jetpack and install now the one with 5 million plus active installations. There are many various, um, you can say versions of it, but we'll go with this one today. So once it is installed, simply click on activate. 
and once we activate it you will be able to see jetpack over here click on that and it's going to ask for you to set up jetpack so click on that button it's going to take you over here approve it it's going to reject your approval one or two times so I'll just simply click on try again and it will do it on the second or third time see on the second time it's approving my account All right, so once I'm all set up, you scroll down and you'll see downtime monitoring time. Just simply turn on this toggle. And now what uh, Jetpack is going to do, it's going to monitor your site for you. And whenever it thinks that your site is down, you will receive an email or a notification via email about the fact that your site is down and you should go and correct it. All right. Also, you will be able to use Jetpack for a number of things. You will be able to get a lot of information from it, from security. And if you go for the pro versions, you'll have much, much more features. And you will be able to see your site stats on this window at the top of the dashboard. That's Jetpack for you. All right. So the second one is Manage WP Worker. So again, go into plugins, click on add new search for manage WP worker all right so we're going to install this one by GoDaddy this has 1 million plus active installations once it is installed simply click on activate and once you activate your plugin Mention what type of site it is. Continue. Okay, so go into plugins. Scroll down and you'll see that your plugin is over here. So that, that last check was for Jetpack. I accidentally thought it was for Manage WP Worker. But once you install and activate your Manage WP Worker, simply you have to go on the Manage WP site. Go to its site. So what this plugin is basically going to do, it's also an online dashboard, but this plugin is going to create a channel between your site and the dashboard. So simply enter your um, email address. MWYX5 sign up sign up next it's going to ask you for your credentials your wp credentials but in case you don't remember your credentials you can always uh, first of all let me just enter my name over here and my site's url okay so in case you don't have your WP credentials, you can always use the connection key instead. So simply click on use connection key and you can get your connection key from your WP site where your plugin is. Just simply click on connection management and you will get your connection key. Copy this key, paste it over here and click on add website. So what it's going to do now is it's going to create a connection between your site and your Manage WP dashboard. Okay, so let's go to my site's dashboard now. Okay, so this is my dashboard. Simply scroll down and okay, let me close the cookies and click on Uptime Monitor. Now you have to uh, activate your Uptime Monitor. Once you do that, uh, you'll be able to see the same exact way that uh, Pingdom and Uptime Robot were giving you stats. It's going to give you the same stat or the same window in which you can get your stats. Uh, this is going to cost you just a tiny amount, so do not worry about that. And uh, it has great benefits for this. So this is how you can use 
uh, multiple plugins to monitor your sites uptime and you can use your online tools to monitor your sites uptime so that's it for today if you still have any questions just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe cyber panel